the new QU. What's it all about? Let's find out together. I just got an alert. Uh, the QU series is by Allen and Heath. I've had a chance to buy this stuff before. Here's the uh, Allen and Heath CQ18T Ultra Compact Digital Audio Mixer. The reason I might consider something like this is because, like, because like the Tascam Model 24 and like the Zoom L20, this thing supposedly has multi-track without a computer. And I'm always into that. There's very few boards do that. Um, there's, of course, the uh, Tascam Porta Studios. There's the Zooms. There's the Zoom R20, which I hate. Um, there's the Zoom um, uh, that, that 16 and that 24, which were pretty great. And then, of course, the, all the Zoom Live Track stuff is pretty great. And then the Tascam Model Series 12, 16, 24, 2400, and the Tascam Studio Bridge, which is a different animal. And my Tascam Model 24 is currently in for repair with these guys, Long and McQuaid. They've sent it off somewhere. I'm on my six week no board, and they can't even rep reproduce the problem, which is crazy because I've got videos on here of me showing the problem. And it is a mixer, so you can actually watch me uh, hovering over it and tweaking the knobs and actually showing what you see is what you get. Top down, lean forward you can see that I can make the problem happen. So for them to not be able to get the problem to go, I don't know. But anyway, back on topic, if I don't get my Tascam Model 24 back soon, then uh, I've either got my eye on another Tascam Model 24 that I can pick up for like 1400 bucks right now, or there is the new QU. What is the new QU? Well, let's go back a minute and talk about the old CQ that's been for sale. I've been able to pick these up used around Ontario. The reason I didn't like it is because it looks like freaking scuba equipment. It's just, it's got a weird look to it. It looks like a menu diving hell with that touch screen. Um, it just does not, it looks like it's got too far away from 1970 for my liking. Um, looks like a damn tablet. It's too far away. It may have multi-track. Now let's just even confirm that. That should be front and center in terms of uh, features. Uh, 24 by 22 USB interface. 24 by 22 SD record and playback. So that tells me it does multi-track. So it does put this Allen Heath CQ18 Ultra Compact in the same realm as the Tascam Model 24 and the Zoom L20. And it's currently cheaper than the Tascam Model 24 because Long and McQuaid selling the Tascam Model 24 is for 1900 Canadian. So, Allen Heath CQ18T, CQ18T is a few years old. Let's talk about the QU. I literally just got this alert on my phone five minutes before I started doing this video. And I'm like, let's look at it together. Looks like a, uh, a modern take on a mixing board. Um, see a USB jack up in the top right-hand corner. Looks like a headphone jack up in the top right-hand corner. There's the QU5 and the QU5D. The D stands for Dante. Dante is some sort of a network protocol in which you can, I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I think you can RJ uh, Cat5E cable um, music together across this Dante protocol and make it all talk to each other. I've never done it. I have no interest in it. But right off the hop here, I know this is just the front picture, but I'm like, I don't see, I don't see 16 uh, little knobs to adjust 16 little preamps. So, you know, the five might not be for me. Uh, let's go back to the QU here and see the other ones. So we've got a few here. We've got the QU5 the QU6, and the QU7D. How sweet would it be if those were motorized per, uh, faders? I don't know that they are. I don't know anything about this. We're looking together. The legendary mixer is reborn, now supercharged with 960 kilohertz uh, XCVI core for deep processing. That doesn't mean nothing to me. Um, I'll get slammed for copyright if I don't... Uh, actually, the, only, the other thing I got to do is I got to freaking show up my stupid email here. I'll get slammed for a copyright if there's any music in this. So I'm going to turn the music down and hit the video. And hopefully. All right. Iconic design. Next level performance. The new QU. So says it. 
What are you going to tell me here? It's probably just playing music. There's the QU5, the QU6, and the big fat QU7. And with Dante, QU5D, QU6D, and QU7D. Um, looks like, yeah, it looks pretty menu divey too. Oh, there we go. Look at the back. Look at all them preamps, all them mic setup, uh, combi jacks. Lamp. I love lamp. Uh, library. I don't know what the library, but there's that Dante that I don't care about at all. The new QU. Okay. That was not very helpful. Okay. Here's some features though. So there they are. There's the family. QU5. QU6, QU7, QU5D, QU6D, QU70. Now, I have expensive tastes, of course. Whichever one is the most expensive one is the one that I'll need. But I don't want the Dante, so I don't need the D in the name. They all include 96 kilohertz processing, 38 inputs to mix. Oh, they all have 38 inputs to mix. Very nice. 32 mono, which are linkable, and 3 stereo. That's, that's awesome. Deep processing ready. I don't know what that means. 12 mixes. I don't know what you're getting at there. Four mono linkable matrix. Six stereo FX engines. Wow, they all have six stereo FX engines. Um, 128 by 128 intelligent S-Link port for everything I.O. I don't know what that means. 32 by 32 USB audio interface. That's pretty nice. Are you telling me they all are 32? How, like how? Like does that QFU5 have? I mean, that's 32 channels. How many how many mic pre's does it have on? Let's find out. Pick your size. All new six QU mixers are built on a unified platform across three frame sizes, each with Dante-enabled variant, ensuring there's a QU to fit every application. Oh, okay. So the QU5 has 16 plus one onboard preamps. That's beautiful. Guess what, Tascam? Guess what, Long and McQuaid? Keep it. Looks like I'm getting a QU5. 12 line outs, 16 plus one faders, 16 by 16 Dante interfuse on the QU5D, 19 inch rack model, mountable. Oh, I love anything that mounts in a rack. Uh, they'd be the only one that mounts in a rack. These two boys are uh, quite a bit wider. Um, this is amazing, you know, and they're going to have all the hindsight of uh, looking back at Tascam and looking back at Zoom and seeing what people wanted over the last five, six years, right? And they can look back at... Uh, Mackie and realize that Mackie's about 20 years behind. Mackie is embarrassingly, pathetically behind. I don't know why anybody would buy a Mackie uh, mixer at this point. Same with Soundcraft. You know, the Soundcraft, I'm sure it sounds really good, the Soundcraft boards, but they are embarrassingly behind compared to um, this stuff. And I think Korg is in that boat too. I mean, Tascam model, Zoom L track, and this. What else is there, right? Right now, if you want multi-track without a computer, as well as going into the computer, you'll you'll see a big old Mackie board that big, and it'll have and it'll be an interface of two into it. It's like embarrassing. It's like it's always nineteen ninety nine at Mackie. I actually ran in on YouTube. I got in an argument with uh, one of the Ma a Mackie guy, and we went back and forth. He's like, "Well, it would cost a lot more money to do that," and I'm like, "Well, Tascam does it. Zoom does it. What the?" What the hell are you talking about? Well, we can't we can't do eight ins or sixteen ins. It would cost way more money to do it. You can only do two in over USB, two over USB, right? I'm like, well, like Tascam does it. You're crazy. You cr you have to do it, or you're gonna get left in the dust. Turns out he was a product. Uh, he was part of the product development team at Mackie. That's why he was defending it. And I pointed out, he's like, I've worked there for eleven years. I said, yeah. They haven't invented anything good in 11 years. That's when the Big Knob came out. Mackie's not done anything since the Big Knob. And they've done variations of the Big Knob. What else has Mackie done? Big boards, two in, two out, or four in, two out. Like, Mackie, it's always 1999 at Mackie. Anyway, this is about the QUs. This isn't about slamming how, how stupid and freaking back in the Stone Age Mackie is. All right. Remote control apps. We've got the QU mix pad. I don't like the look of that at all. Musician's mixing app for QU. That looks stupid too but uh what do we have here the s-link port oh it's like a stage box the, thanks to the s-link port qu5 6 and 7 can be connected to the everything io family of rack and stage box expanders making it a flexible mix in match solution for other allen and heath digital systems oh my goodness this is amazing and you know, I said I'm not interested in the Dante, but it's starting to turn wheels in my head. I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. You could hook up a bunch of these together and put on a 
Phantom of the Opera, Les Miserables, Lion King. You know what I mean? You could put on a one one amazing church show. You know, some of these churches have so much equipment in them. You could put on Pink Floyd. You know, like some of these churches are like driving this industry. And then they've got the old QU16, QU24, and QU32. But I don't think that's the classic QUs. So, um, yeah. So, for me, if you're telling me there's 16 preamps on the back of this bad boy, that's the one for me. Uh, QU6 has got 24. That sounds out of my price range. And the QU7, the great big fatty, 32 preamps. I just don't need it. I don't have 32 microphones. I don't have 32 mic stands. I don't have space in my basement for 32 guys to stand around. Anyway, the 16 plus one, I don't know what plus one means, but that sounds like it's for me. Let's learn more. QU5, by the way, if you're interested in this stuff, just go to allen and, uh, uh, heathcom and I'm at forward slash hardware slash QU. Um, a lot of you guys that are into uh, music gear like I am, you probably got these alerts too this evening. Uh, allen and Heath Legend, okay, we already did that. Uh, tell me all about it. Show me this. Okay. Looks like we're going to have some digital uh, EQ. There's the preamp. So it looks like on this one, you're going to select the channel you're dealing with. And then these are all your controls for the channel. So that's like how Zoom does it. Um, mostly. I mean, Zoom each. The Zoom uh, live track L20 each channel has its own preamp knob. But to me, this looks like you're going to select the channel you're dealing with. And then all these knobs become attached to that channel is what it looks like. I don't like touch screens and I don't like menu driving. But I don't know. I like the looks of that metering. Um, what else do we got for metering here? What else do we got? Oh, yeah, baby. Look. Ooh. Look at that. And that is Combi Jacks. Oh, my goodness gracious. Please be something I can afford. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Hey, Long and McQuaid and Tascam, keep my freaking Model 24. I don't need it. I'll order this from Sweetwater. I'll have a warranty that isn't lied about. You know, it'll be a real warranty. Uh, capture and playback. Reliable recording and playback anywhere. Every Q model, QU model is packed with versatile recording and playback options. Oh, I'm going to cry. With an integrated 32x32 32 32 USB-C audio interface. And 32 multi-channel multi-track support via SD card. Oh my god, it blows the mo it blows the Tascam Model 2400 out of the water. I mean, I don't get up to 32 tracks, but you guys know that's handy. To keep takes, to keep um, room mics, you know. Sometimes you want to throw three mics on a guitar... Knowing you're only going to use one, but yeah, you got the other two mics, so you just want to try it, you know? Uh, UA workflow. Now, I do not like this. I, I hope that's not a touchscreen. I freaking hate touchscreens. I hate any LCD. That screen goes bad in 10 years. Guess what? You're, you, you, you can't use your device anymore, right? But uh, faster setups, adjusting the gain for each channel uh, might not be the most thrilling task, and it can take up a lot of your setup. So is this thing, like... Is this intended for live, like putting on Phantom of the Opera, or is this intended for recording? Take your mix to the next level. Now, I'm, I'm, I take it this thing is for me. Like, what is this? Is that a plug in on the screen? Okay, I'm kind of loving the screen now. That's an 1176 plug in on their screen. So we're going to be able to use VSTs. Don't quote me. I'm, I'm guessing here, guys. I, Automatic mic mixer. Oh, I love that. Oh man. And the remote apps seem stupid. What else can we can we know about this? Oh boy. Look at this. It is a seven inch capacitive touchscreen. I hate touchscreens. Um. Oh, they're motorized faders, everybody. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh. Recording and playback, SD card slot for multi-channel audio recorder playback. I hope there isn't some weird thing. They're like, yeah, but you can only... Some of these, I forget which one it is, but they're like, yeah, but you can only um, overdub eight channels at a time, you know? So it's like once you do your first pass of 16, it cuts... I, I don't even remember what machine that was. It's absolutely ridiculous. 19-inch <coughs> rack model. Well, let me tell you, 
It looks like my dream machine. I don't know if you guys caught my video where I was like designing my own dream machine. Look at it too. It is sleek. I I didn't like the look at first. It looked too modern, but now this like this L shape. Oh man. Come on. I could shed a tear right now. Like it looks beautiful. I don't think I would go with the Dante though. I just don't think I would hook it to anything else. So uh, what do you guys think? Shout out. Um, you know, I know some of you guys, and keep in mind, this is for the computer, not for the computer. So Mike and I love recording and uh, Num Thumb over at Warhearts. Like this does not, well, Num Thumb, Num Thumb's made his, uh, his choice. He's got the Tascam Studio Bridge just arrived. He has to modify his, uh, was it a Sound Techniques or Soundtracks board? Very, very cool, very rich sounding mixer board he has that he's going to hook to a Tascam studio bridge. So Warheart is kind of, uh, unless he returns it, he he's kind of stuck where he's at for five years. But if I know Mike from I Love Recording, he has his eye on multi-tracks of all kinds. So, you know, it could be something that you guys would be into. You, you, you Dallas guys, I know Mike and, and Num Thumb, they're not the only guys that won't turn on a computer out there. I know some of you other guys won't turn on a computer. I hear you. I totally hear you. Look at that EQ curve. Oh my goodness gracious. I know that was an 1176 plugin I seen across that screen. Let me go down. 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 Suddenly that touch screen doesn't bother me so much. You know? So, all right. I'm going to throw um, my price guesstimation out on this. Now there's tariffs and there's elbows up nonsense and there's freaking you know, we're the only people besides China that can't get a deal with the USA right now because we can't get along. Everyone else has been able to, you know, make deals with these tariffs except Canada. But I'm going to go ahead. I am going to price this thing and there's motorized faders. Let's keep that in mind. It's got to compete with the Tascam Model 2400, which is $3,500 Canadian. I'm going to price this at $3,000 Canadian. Okay. If it's that, eh. if it's more, I'll be sad. If it's less, I'll be very happy. So my guesstimation is this comes out at $3,000 Canadian. I could be totally wrong. Guys, chime in on this thing. The Allen & Heath QU series. We can go over really quick and check out the 6 as well. I think I think with the 6 and the 7, I mean, you're just going to get more, right? You're going to get more faders. Um, they don't look like they're the mess that the 5 is. The 5 looks all scrunchy and bunchy. The 7 looks cleaner. Like, I could set my beer there and my coffee over here. And uh, this one's just scrunchy and crunchy. Um... Uh, I don't know. The layout looks more sane on the seven. Let's go check out the six. How did I drill into the individual ones? Um, oh, here. Six. Learn more. Yes, please. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, my God. Look at it. I don't need all these inputs, but it's just more beautiful. It just looks more beautiful. And look, there's the master, right? We got a master fader. Oh, come on. This is... Uh, uh, oh, what do we have here? There's, that's an 1176 plug-in on the screen. Uh, uh, come on. This is like when Roland put out the VS, uh, the VS 2000 or the Roland VS 2480, if you guys remember. Oh, man. Well, we won't be getting them in Canada, like, anytime soon. We're a bunch of, uh, simple Eskimos up here. Like we always get the last of everything. We don't even have like freaking uh, count chocolate or fruity pebble cereal anymore. Like we just, we just get the worst that the world has to offer up here. So if this, if this becomes available, we'll get it last. It'll go like, uh, like, uh, the USA will get it first and then Vietnam and then Bangladesh and then Zimbabwe and then Venezuela and then Canada will get one, right? Because we are like the last because we are just simple Eskimo folks up here. All right. Um, yeah, well, chime in, guys. Let me know what you think. I want one. Um, yeah, we'll see if I can afford one or not. Well, what the heck? I, I don't have my Tascam Model 24 anyway. I might as well do something. Hey, thanks for watching.